Hey, what's going on everyone? Scott here. We're at uh, Warwick Homestead right now. And uh, I got a comment. Guy asking for a little tutorial on the Logic Gate Gatehouse. And I was looking around on my PlayStation, different things, and I happened to look up the uh, video length. And I've seen that they upped it to uh, 30 minutes and 60 minutes. So hopefully I can get this done in the time limit that I got. So I placed down four floor pieces. These are the block floors. Uh, I chose the stone ones because I really like the way that looks uh, from the uh, Unlock Settlement Mod, uh, Settlement Objects Mod. I'll, I'll place a full list of the mods that I'm using in the, in the uh, description. But you place the floor, the four pieces down and you would you know here with the the terrain here i was able to get them really close to the ground but i did add a few stairs just to make it a little easier to walk in and out and in front of the door and then you place the power door right in the middle of the of the four of the four pieces now over here i've got a few pieces that that uh we'll need a couple of uh concrete pillars and uh at least one guard post i'm going to choose to use the barricade guard post for this uh, but we'll go ahead and get started building the gatehouse so go into warehouse and once you've got this structure built you can grab just a flat four floor piece and you see it snaps to the top of that door and then you grab the block and you grab it out of the warehouse because it's taller and it matches the door there as far as height and then there you've got a pretty good start to it and then what I used on this one I wanted to come up with something different I didn't want to do the same old thing with the other one or like my other one at Somerville Place or uh, Kingsport Lighthouse so I was able to come up with something a little bit different you know matching Warwick Homestead you're down here you're right on the ocean you know there's a, a ship right there so I wanted to use a lot or some of the ship pieces which I updated my unlock settlement mod and we finally got a few you know one of these capsules so yeah I'm really excited about using some of this new stuff and I apologize for the scrolling uh, like I said I make these videos on my PS4 so I don't I can't figure out a way to edit the time or anything like that so I'll do the you know you don't need a whole lot of pieces for this but you do need a, f a few and they're not too far in here you just go past all of this and the part that we need is this one right here the tugboat ca cabin so we'll place it down and then this is where your pillars come in grab one of them all the way down on the ground you get it close and then you use the select all raise it up then I'll need the other pillar then the select all again and you see there I can raise it up a little bit higher then you see there at the bottom of it you got the bottom of the cabin and then the bottom of the walkway it's a really good guide to put it on this block see here and then you can lower it down a little bit And once you got it set right where you need it, just set it down. Then we'll move these back out of the way. And I want to do the same thing on the other side. And where am I going? I need another one of these.
And this is a good trick to get things a little bit higher if you need to. You use the pillar glitch to raise it up off the ground and then uh, place it and then just select the pillar and you can lower it back down and place another pillar on top. You still have to select all with the bottom but you see there I'm able to get it a lot higher than I would normally with just one. And then you do, just do the same thing on this side that you did on the other. You find a good spot to place it. And the flat bottom there works really well as a guide to be able to place this down. Alright, now you set that out of the way. So now you got that. That's what that looks like. Now, I'll go back into warehouse. Come all the way to the end and I'll grab the taller pillars. And I'll just place a few of those. Right there. To add a little structure to it. And there you go. So now we can start laying the electrical for the power door while we're over here. And just grab, you know, one of the ones that go on the wall. And uh, right there on the cabin, I'm going to put all the switches inside this cabin right here. So we'll go ahead and wire that up to that power conduit there. Place a set of stairs down so we can get up on here. Then playing around with this earlier, figuring out how I want to build this, I put two beacons up here. I put one on this side and one on this side, or not beacons. What am I doing? sirens just to make it look you know kind of symmetrical push one on that side and one on this side now we're only going to be using one of these so that one over there is just for looks uh, we'll get on top here And you want to place down a power conduit. I'm going to put the power on this side of the cabin. So there. And then we'll run over to the miscellaneous. And we'll place our fireworks mortar. So then you wire the, the siren to the power conduit. And then the power conduit to the fireworks mortar. Okay, now inside this cabin, this is where we're going to place our switches. But first, we're going to need some power. And this is the uh, switch box power generator. I uh, got this from a mod. Uh, I'll place the description or uh, the name of it in the description. And there we have power. So then you're going to go over to the logic gates and select the NAND gate. Then I put it down here at the bottom. And then we're going to need a couple of switches. Right there. And then we got power coming in to one switch there. Now we're going to be using the uh, the uh, wire glitch a little bit here. So you got power coming in there to there. And then from there, 
to the input of the NAND gate. Okay. Now this switch will go to this siren up here. I know it's got a switch on it, but being that it's up there, the uh, settler won't be able to use it. If I could get this right. Uh, okay, select the wire. And you see there, to the switch. Then we'll need to power up that to that. See the siren came on. Need to turn that off. So now we need to wire up the power door. And then this one from your power conduit outside the wire glitch and it goes to the output of the NAND gate and you see there the door came up so I don't have anything in the fireworks mortar right now but you can see there I've highlighted it and the little lightning bolt is red because it doesn't have any power so now you turn this one switch on the door closes the siren comes on and the fireworks mortar now has power and would have shot off a shell then you got Minutemen that would show up and help you out so now we've got the power door set up all wired up and it still does work because I've had a couple people comment that this setup didn't work anymore I mean it, it still works for me so now we'll finish making the rest of the of this uh, gatehouse go back into warehouse and select one of the walls and put it right in the middle and I did this just because I wanted to place a little roof up here. Place two of those, then we get rid of that, then we come over to the the pillar, and I don't want them stuck in the floor like that, but I'm doing that so I can get another piece to not stick in the floor right where I want it. one there we're gonna put one in the middle also put it right in the middle of these two floor pieces and then we can get rid of these other pillars that we don't need and there you see there everything looks supported and then on the other side they won't snap on here because of the the cabin and stuff but you place it right in the corner of the floor piece on either side and there you have a supported roof piece so now I come down and I take uh, my uh, guard post here and I place it right about in the middle and see there once you get your line then it's easy to place right in the middle where you need it to be then to cover up these gaps I'm gonna use a couple of these uh, balcony railings and they're a little finicky right here but you just play around with it and you can find the spot that it fits
right like that so now you've got a guard post right here in the middle and then you can fin you know finish building the walls out however you want off of this you know and, and the staircase however you want off of this and now you've got everything working now another mod that I uh, downloaded um, added some work mats and they're in the resource section here and you got a scavenging sweeping push-up prisoner prayer painting uh, newspaper reading clipboard and pen I thought I had one for guard Welding. I think they might be in the actual... Rugs here. I'm loving this Unlock Settlement mod. It's unlocked so many things. footpath the mechanists here we go the guard mats and you got three different ones one defense two defense and six defense added in with the rest of these So this one produces two, and we'll place that one there, and one there. So then we'll come down and we'll get rid of these to see if I can get my two guards here to go up there on in the actual cabins. And so there you have it, you know, uh, and then you can finish off the walls however you want. I thought with this location, I think I'm going to keep this gate gatehouse. And I think with the rest of the walls uh, being right here on the water and the wrecked, uh, you know, the shipwreck right there, there's a lot of shipping containers. So I think I'm going to finish out the walls on either side of this with the shipping containers. Um... Uh, just to you know I think it would fit in with this settlement a lot better try to put up a better stairs here there we go that way it's easier for them to get up there you know and then you can add different things uh, if you want more uh, railings up here to fit to finish this out uh, move that back the structure back in there you know and then you can add lights under here if you want um, pretty much anything you know kind of sky's the limit on whatever you want to you want to put under here I'll go with the fluorescent light here 
and that one generator the little generator here that i put in here see it produces 400 power so it gives you plenty of of power for everything in here and it's got a pretty good uh radius to it and we'll add some lights and then you can add you know gun racks uh, you know, weapon shelves, you know, ammo shelves and things like that up here. And you can see here they walk right in and they can stand right in here. I wonder how long my systems will endure these rugged conditions. So I really like that setup. A pleasure to see you again. When I do the settlement tour of this uh of this settlement uh, I know I was working on uh, like Green Top Nursery, but I think I'm going to come down and and uh, and work on this settlement here. I've, I'm starting to get some really good ideas uh, for this. So when I do the settlement tour video, uh, I'll show you guys the finished walls and things like that. But I think that's a really cool looking gatehouse. And then you can add more turrets on top too. You know, defense turrets. Uh, you know pretty much anything you want to add to it my onboard functions are operating at full capacity yeah let's go ahead and do that now i'd like to see how that looks a pleasure to see you jump up here on top of here and let's move this over just a bit I didn't need to fall off. And so there you have it. Hope this helps you out. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please please hit that like button. I appreciate that very much. And if you got any comments about, you know, anything at all, uh, just leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer questions or anything like that. You can see the robot guard Perhaps wanting to go into the uh, guard mats there really happy with the way that came out I hope you guys are too so as always guys have a good one thanks for watching